Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomi over immense noses as they lie asleep. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or old grub, time out of mind the fairy's coachmakers. Her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, the covers of the wings of grasshoppers, her traces of the smallest spider web, her colors of the moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film, her wagoner, a small gray-coated gnat, not half so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. And in this state she gallops night by night through lovers' brains and men they dream of love. Or courtiers' knees that dream on curtsies straight. Or lawyers' fingers who stretch dream on fees. Or ladies' lips who straight on kisses dream. Which Oft the angry mab with blisters plagues, because their breaths with sweetmeats tainted on. Sometimes she gallops o'er courtier's nose, and then dreams he of smelling out his suit. And sometime comes she with a tithe pig's tail tickling a parson's nose as Eliza sleep. Then dreams he of another benefice. Sometime she drives or a soldier's neck. And then dreams he of cutting foreign throats, of breeches and escados, Spanish blades, of healths five fathom deep, and then an on. Drums in his ear at which he starts and wakes, and being thus frighted, swears a prayer or two and sleeps again. This is that very mad. Plats the manes of horses in the night, and bakes the elf locks in foul, sluttish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs that presses them and learns the first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is 